On the high school level, the road to Terre Haute beginning in earnest tonight. After back-to-back -to -back girls' state title games being held right here in Fort Wayne, Terre Haute will host this year's championship. Got to get through sectionals first before you think about going to the Haute. Huge game in 3A at Garrett. Host Railroaders facing Leo. Fourth quarter, Kiana Gary. And one there in the post. Leo up by four. Lions now up two. Brandy Dawson ties it at 44. And that, folks, would send it to overtime in OT. Garrett's Katie DePew coming up big. She cans the three right there. But Gary, unstoppable. The three point play here for the Akron bound junior. Leah winning another classic against rival Garrett 54 52 in overtime. We knew coming out that it was going to be a tough game, especially after ACAC. So we've been practicing um, how we've been practicing how they play against us all week. And we knew that we had to come out strong, and that's, I think that's what we did. Leo faces Angola in the sectional semifinals on Friday night. If 4A Snyder hoping to pave that road to Terre Haute tonight as the Panthers facing DeKalb at Charger Fieldhouse, third quarter. Snyder's Destiny Parker tough down low. And we're going to see more from Snyder. Akila Sims going to play at IUPUI next year. She had a team high 15. Panthers up by 20. Now DeKalb trying to cut into that big lead. Rachel Dinkoff with the bucket right there. But in the fourth, you're going to see Brianna Moore to Deja Wimby as Snyder wins and moves on 55-40. Um, we definitely didn't perform the way I thought we would, but it starts at practice. We just got to perform at practice, and then it'll come to the game. Intensity, defense, rebounding, boxing out, all that definitely matters. If we don't do it, we won't win. Next up, it's Snyder getting Columbia City on Friday night. 4A action out at Homestead. The host Spartans taking on Jay County, who made the long drive. Fourth quarter action, Carmen Lowe, the senior in the post, gets the end one there. She had 16 Homestead up. By 17. Now the Patriots trying to hang around. It's Katie Aker right there with the put back. A little later, you're going to see Cassie Helmelgard going to the rack. She had 13 points for Jay County, but Homestead would seal it from the line tonight. Carly Dovis, the star golfer, knocking down the free throw. Homestead a winner, 66-47. Spartans play Southside on Friday. That will be a good one. Late game at Homestead. Wayne in Huntington North. First quarter action is Wayne's Imani Moore with the nice catch and bucket down low. Then you're going to see Crystal and Bell with the bucket as the Generals open the game on a six zip run. Vikings would cut into the lead here. Taylor Percival wide open for the layup, but simply too much Wayne tonight. Chanel rush for two as the Generals win 48 to 41. They play New Haven on Friday. Unfortunately, we didn't have video of the end of the Woodland Bishop Wenger game. Apparently, Woodland. Hits a half quarter at the buzzer to win by two, 46-44 to upset Bishop Dwinger. That game was up there at uh, at Garrett. So congratulations to Woodland on a big win. Oh, I can imagine.